to install your shift lever on your motorcycle goes right here and the first thing you do is take the nut out of the shift lever and then you'll notice there's a groove in here now where your nut goes your bolt rather it's going to be straight across that groove and that's what locks it in and you want to set your lever somewhat neutral to the peg and then before I put this bolt in I'm going to go ahead and add a little blue Loctite 243. So I'm going to add a dab of Loctite to this and then put it in. Start it with your hand and you can run it really all the way in with your hand and then it's going to be a 10 mil and go ahead and snug it down with the 10 mil. Snug it pretty tight. So there you go. Bolts tight. It's got blue Loctite on it so it shouldn't back out due to vibration and now your gear selector is installed. Now I'm about to install my clutch control and my switches. So you need an eight millimeter for your clutch lever housing and a Phillips screwdriver for your switch cluster. Now on mine, there's an Allen key that's sticking way up. It's a three millimeter. So I'm gonna screw that in and then I can mount these on the handlebars. Now I was wrong about this little Allen bolt. It must just be to uh, grip into the bar so it doesn't spin after the fact. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these installed and my Phillips screws for this and my eight mil bolts for the clutch lever. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue Loctite on those as well. Now I'm getting ready to put the front wheel on the right way. And so I've added some high temperature grease to all the holes to both sides of the speedo housing packed some into the wheel both sides put the spacer in grease the other one put some grease on the axle and now I'm ready to slide the axle through with the tire All right, now that that is through, I've wiped the grease off of these threads because I'm gonna put a little Loctite on there as well. All right, and now we're gonna assemble the rear brake lever. So you can see there's that tube there. So you're gonna put some grease on your brake lever, slide it through the tube, and then there's a washer that goes on the other side and a cotter pin that goes in that hole right there. 
and then you take the pins out of this and they'll go into the end as well. So now I'll do that and I'll show you. All right, now I've got it all assembled. So you'll put the bigger spring goes into the brake lever and around this stop right here, there's a little pin. And then you put this pin back in here, the washer and the cotter key. I put a little grease in there. I grease this shaft. And then right here you put that big washer and the cotter key goes on there. And then on your brake switch, there's two plastic nuts. You'll just pull that out, take one of the nuts off so you can put it one on either side of this bracket. And then the spring goes from the post there down to the top of the lever here. And then your rear brake is ready to go. Okay, so I'm taking the rear tire off now. The axle bolt is gonna be a 17 millimeter. And the axle nut, which I've already taken off, is going to be a 19 millimeter. And you have your brake caliper on this side. And there is a spacer in on that side. So I'm taking this out so I can grease my axle and hub. And also adjust the chain because they had it way too tight. All right, so I've had the rear tire off. I've greased everything and put it back together. And it's worth noting that you need to put the brake caliper back on and get it kind of up into position prior to putting that spacer in there and shoving the axle through. And then when you put your axle through, make sure that your chain stays, the axle goes through those as well, the, uh, the tensioners. And then wipe the excess grease off the end and throw some Loctite on it. And torque her down. Hey guys, Montana Drone here. Smash that like button and subscribe to my buddy John at the Pro Cut. He's worth it.